Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Hi and welcome to Spice and Pens. Today I'm going to show you how to make this local delicacy known as Pakute. I'm not doing the Teochew style which is a peppery type. I'm doing more on the herbal style, a little bit like what they do in Malaysia. But with a slight twist, um, I'm adding pepper also. So what we have over here, let me introduce to you. We have a uh, four. We are using four pieces of a star anise over here. These are tam kui or angelica. Okay, a couple of pieces, maybe about 10, 12 pieces around there. Okay, this is sou ti. Okay, um, one one big and one small piece like this. Okay, this is chuang chuang xiong, about 10 pieces or so. A handful of this known as yu zu. Okay. And this is cinnamon bark. We have about a um, total of four big pieces actually. Um, I'm using also four whole bulbs of uh, garlic and two and a half tablespoons of uh, um, white peppercorn, which actually I've dried, fried, okay, to bring out the fragrance. I'm using also over here two and a half kilograms of uh, prime ribs, okay. So I'm just going to put all this inside this container, okay, including this, and drop them inside a uh, boiling water first. In go the pepper. all this herbs inside here if you see that I did not mention anything about uh, black soy sauce or salt because um, actually for all this you can actually add that in later when the soup is almost done okay I don't to add all this right now at this moment of course give the herb a rinse before you actually put them in and I'll just seal it up I'll go and put this inside a pot of water. I have a pot of water inside here, approximately about four to four and a half uh, liter of water. So I'm going to put in all the um, spices inside here, as well as the garlic, okay? And leave them to boil. While waiting, we'll blanch the pork ribs. Okay, I'm going to put the, I'm going to blanch the pork ribs inside here. As you can see, the water is actually cold right now. Um, I've turned on, just turned on the heat. I'm not waiting for it to boil before I blanch it. This is because one of my friends who is a chef says that um, it is better this way. You put it down when the water is cold and when it's boiling for about uh, approximately about one minute or so, you can take it out and wash it. In this way, the pork won't actually shrink um, immediately when you put it in and it will be cleaner actually. Uh, takes more of the porkiness smell out of the ribs itself. So let's just uh, drop everything in. We just leave this inside here for until the water boils for approximately about three or three minutes or so. Right, this is now actually uh, going through halfway. You can see there's a lot of scum coming out. Okay, because if you were to actually when it's boiling, we put it down, the meat will shrink all together, and then the center part where the dirts are or, or the blood are won't actually comes out, and then your soup won't be as nice. So this is the way that my friend taught me. It's the best way to actually clean out ribs and uh, pork and stuff like that before you make any soup. Right, now that the water is boiling, um, it's been boiling for approximately about 2 or 3 minutes already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the ribs out and then I'll wash the ribs and put them into the pot of uh, herbal soup itself. I'm just going to rinse all this. Wash it through thoroughly. Make sure all the scum or extra loose bone are all being washed up. Then you have a nice clear soup. Okay, I'm going to put the pork ribs inside the soup and let them boil for approximately about 45 minutes or so, uh, depending on how tender you want the ribs to be. The soup is already smelling good on its own without the ribs. The soup has been boiling for about one hour already, so let's have a look. It smells good. Let's just have a taste. Very fragrant the soup. So what we have to do is just a uh, salt to add salt to taste. 
I don't want my salt to be so salty, so I'm just going to add in approximately about one teaspoon of salt. Okay. So this is all personal preferences. If you want it to be a little bit more salty, you can put in more salt if you want to. Salt actually brings out the sweetness of the pork ribs, so yeah, it's fine. Okay. That'll be soft already. You can see. Very, very soft. Mm, very good. Okay, and we are done.